Hello, hello. You get sound. I follow Chef Ruby and family, but it's always come up cooking with Chef Ruby. Oh, uh, because I go live on both pages. I go live on both pages. That's why. But um, mostly, mostly my videos on Chef Ruby and family. Cooking with Chef Ruby. Sometimes I just come on to let you guys know that I'm on on Chef Ruby and family. I'm even going to turn it off maybe in 5-10 minutes so we can go on Chef Ruby and family. Chef Ruby and family, you can be able to give me stars over there, you know. So that's why it's good to go follow. You guys remember those potatoes I was cutting, cutting that day? This is potatoes and onions. So I'm going to cook this. I'm going to cook these potatoes and onions. I'm going to eat it for breakfast. I wanted to use these potatoes for... Um, I wanted to use this potato for the chickpeas, you know, but um, <coughs> for some reason I couldn't cook the chickpeas, you know. So now I'm going to make these potatoes as breakfast. My water is boiling over there for my grits. I'm making shrimp and grits and pot sauteed potatoes. <coughs> I need a spoon. So this is the spoon right here. I'm going to come and mix my potatoes. Can you guys hear me good now? Chef Ruby and family. Colleen, how are you? How are you doing? I am back. Can you guys hear me? I hope you guys can hear me though. So cooking with Chef Ruby and family. Let's go to... No, cooking with Chef Ruby. Let's go to Chef Ruby and family now. Okay? Because you guys know I want to focus on one video. Please, let's go over there. Y'all go follow me now. The page is pink. Chef Ruby and family. Do you guys like my hair? I have long hair. This is my natural hair. Sometimes it's just good to come up here natural. You know, so people can know you are natural. Okay, guys. Let's go to Chef Ruby and family and watch this video so we can finish. All right. I turned cookie with Chef Ruby family off. <laughs> They're going to come right now. All right. So let's cook this potato. This is um, potatoes and onions. When you leave potatoes by, by, like that, you don't um, put water in it. They're going to look black like this. But they're still good though. You can still eat them. You know? So the potatoes are here. You're going to let them cook. Let me get my all purple seasonings. Let me season these potatoes now. You have to season your potatoes. This is my all-purpose seasoning. You can go to the website and order your seasonings. The best seasonings in America. The best seasonings in America right now. All right. Let me post this video over here. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Post now. Okay, the video is posted so the other people can know that Chef Ruby is live on Chef Ruby and family, you know. So you're going to come. If you guys can smell these potatoes right now with these onions, trust me, you're going to want to get up and cook right now. Hi, Mary Williams. How are you? Love fried potatoes. Yes, fried potatoes are very good. They are very, very good. Especially if you cook them with Chef Ruby seasonings, the all purple seasonings, man, you're going to love, you're going to love to eat potatoes. So I'm going to turn the fire down. It's low heat can cook this um, potatoes. So I'm going to come cook the grits right here. Let me put a little salt in the water. Then I'll put a little salt over here on my potatoes. And I'll keep my salt back here. Now I'm going to take my grits. I'm not going to cook a lot of grits today because this case, my boys are not even here. So sometimes they don't like to eat. They don't like to eat grits. So I think that's enough. So when you cook grits, some people are going to say, what is grits? Some people don't know what is grits, especially people watching me from a different country. Let me get some water. It's too quick. Some people watch it from a different country. They don't know what is grits. 
grits is um is for breakfast. <laughs> grits is for breakfast. Let me see what is great. Delicious anytime. Our grits make a great addition to any meal. Enjoy one of our many delicious flavors or mix things up and try adding your own grit topper. Your family will love your family will love from savory butter, shredded cheese, green onions, or shrimp. Hey, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing shrimp. Yeah. You know, I'm doing this this grit, I can say is an American dish because I've never seen this in Africa. When I was in Europe, I never see grits over there. So this is an American dish. Grits. Tell me if I'm lying. Where does grits came from? Tell me where grits came from. Tell me where the grits came from. <laughs> does it come from Greece, Europe? I don't know. <laughs> uh, what are we cooking today? Grits is grinded corn. Eh? Is it corn? I didn't know it was corn. Oil. So you guys come teach us, please. Especially me from Africa. I never know what is grits. So. Oh, he's jumping, he's jumping, he's jumping. Yeah, tell us what is grits. So I'm going to put some butter in my grits. Put butter. Like they said, you can put cheese, shredded cheese. After you serve it, you can put Italian green onions. You can put it over shrimp, and that's what I'm doing right now. It's it's too thick to my liking, so I'm I'm gonna keep adding water till I have my the texture I'm looking for. And grits, the more you cook it, the more it becomes thick. You know, somebody said it's um, shredded corn or grated corn. I didn't know that. I thought grits is from rice family. I thought grits came from rice family because it looked white. Um, they said corn. Okay, I didn't know. I swear to God, I didn't know grits was from corn. I thought it's um, I thought it's rice family. You know, so you see, you learn something every day. All I knew is is to eat it. I love to eat it. Um, southern breakfast dish, yummy. Or grits and shrimp or fish. Oh yes, they used to love. Um, Christy, they used to love my shrimp and grits at my restaurant and my fish and grits at my, at my restaurant. They used to love it over there like crazy. So I'm going to move my grits over here and I'm going to move my potatoes over there. Let the potatoes cook. Let my potatoes cook slowly. I'm going to take the phone and show you guys how it's coming up. Look at it. You all see? This is my potatoes. And this is my grits. Okay, so now let's get to the right parts of this breakfast. Yes, American. It's originated with Native Americans, the Mos eh? Moscogee Mos Moscogi tribe. Eh? Thank you for your education. Me, I didn't know. Eh? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Marie, for your education. I didn't know that. I swear to God. Thank you, thank you. And you know, that's why it's good to. It's hot. That's why it's good to communicate. When you communicate, you always learn something new. You always learn something new. So now I'm going to spray some oil here. I'm going to spray some oil here, right? Normally I use coconut oil. Let me look to my coconut oil. Uh, yes, coconut oil. Normally I use coconut oil for my for my shrimp. So that's coconut oil right here. Virgin coconut oil. Virgin coconut oil. So my potatoes are still cooking. Let me put small. Let me put small fire on the grits too, so they can stay warm. I'm leaving small fire on my grits so the grits can stay warm. Okay, so now we have our coconut oil here. Virgin coconut oil. I will recommend you use virgin coconut oil unless if you are somebody that allergic to coconuts. 
then don't worry about it. Let me take all my butter out of this place and put it on top of my grates. This one is finished, but I have to scrape all my butter. Just put it on top of your grates like that. Put some on your potatoes. Things are expensive nowadays, so try, try your best not to waste anything. Try your best not to waste anything. Anything you can scrape, scrape it and get your and get your money out. So we have the coconut oil here, getting ready. Then we have our beautiful. Phone's on. Huh? What's it? What's your phone's on? My phone is on. What do you mean? The other phone is right here. Oh, oh mommy, you need to take that screen off. Yeah, I need to take that screen mm -hmm. off. <laughs> I might go do it today. Um. All right, so the coconut oil is ready. So now you can take your shrimp and go like this. Happy Sunday to you, Miss Lynn. How are you? Thank you for watching. So you're gonna put your shrimp on this, uh, on this beautiful coconut oil, right? So you're going to lay your shrimp grill on this coconut oil. But what, while it's grilling, I'm going to cut up some onions. This is one onion, one red onion. You can use any onion of your choice. Put lines in your onions. Then you cut it up like this. Cut up your onion like that. You see that? Cut up your onions. I like to put different colors of bell peppers too, but since I don't have, I have only red, and that's what I'm gonna use. I have few red peppers here that I left from one of my cooking. It's down here. It's just few. It's still gonna cook. So I'm gonna cut it up like that with my red peppers. It's just for the colors. So I have my red peppers and I have my um, red peppers and onions here. Uh, Miss Caroline said, Chef Ruby, just finished cooking my dinner. Oh, it's too early for dinner. Oh, it's three o'clock. What did you cook? Sunday dinner. So I have ginger, garlic, and um, parsley over here. I'm going to beat it up. Habanero peppers. I don't have no peppers. You guys know me with my spices. I love spices. So you're going to come here and mix your shrimp. You all see the way the shrimp is cooking golden brown. Come here and mix your shrimp. So now it's about time to use your seafood seasonings. Somebody's gonna say, why she always cook with all papa seasoning? Why she always cook? This is the seafood. This is the seafood, my dear. Go get it. The bomb that's come. Okay? So I'm gonna put my seafood here. Don't put too much oil. You know, she told me have a heavy hand. Heavy handed. Oh my god, come see. Come see how beautiful. I have to show you guys how beautiful it is. Beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Dip this shrimp in this coconut oil. Dip this shrimp in this coconut oil. And let it cook. And share the live. And send stars for Chef Ruby. Send stars for Chef Ruby. If you love Chef Ruby, send some stars. Potatoes. Grits. Shrimp. Just save me a plate. Okay, Miss Joyce. Okay, so why I, I blended my um, ginger, garlic, and parsley. So you're gonna take that and put it over the shrimp. Chef Ruby is cooking village cooking. Village cooking is the best. When you cook village cooking, you know those fancy, fancy cooking, 
trust me, it's the best cooking in the world. This is ginger, garlic, and parsley. You can use cilantro if you want. It's up to you. Yummy, 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 mama. Thank you, Yolanda, for sharing. Thank you, Miss Jenna, for 100 stars. I'm going to save your plate. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you for 500 stars, Miss Lane. Thank you. May God bless you. And we have a star party coming up. So we can't wait for that. So do you guys see that? So now you can come in and put in your onions. Onions and little bell peppers. If you want more bell peppers, you can always uh, um, put more. Okay? If it's for my restaurant, I'm going to put different colors of bell peppers on this shrimp. Can you guys see? I really want you guys to see close. That's why I'm holding the phone for you guys. You all see that? If you want fresh tomatoes, you can slice some in there. It's up to you. But I recommend onions and bell peppers. That's it. You know, because when you're eating your shrimp, you want it to be crunchy. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you for the stars. Uh, Miss Jade said, Hi, Chef Ruby and family. I cannot wait to get my oxtail seasoning. I am missing it so much. Oh, if you place your order, it should be on the way. It should be on the way. Miss Joy said, I tried the hot pepper sauce and it was hot and good. <laughs> that hot pepper sauce, eh? That hot pepper sauce can throw your socks off somewhere. Uh huh. Oh, yes, my dear. With my, with my seafood seasonings, it tastes the bomb. I like the shrimp when it's like that. Okay. Uh, Miss Linda said, looks good and yummy. Them shrimp are done. Yes, they're almost done. Let me turn the fire down. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I'll send me Staba. Go try this Staba. Go, go try this Star button. <laughs> go call our, call our other one and try this Star button again. Uh, Miss Olanda said, delicious cooking. My favorite chef making my favorite food. Shrimp and grits and fried potatoes. Yummy. Yes, yes, yes. This is so yummy. Star party is on the way. Star party is on the way. Oh, Masha Hills. Hi, how are you? Love your seasoning. Thank you, Miss Lynn. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your support. For those of you that are supporting me. For those of you that love my, my seasoning, my products. Not only seasoning. We have our hot pepper. We have our, we have our delicious seafood seasoning. We have our all-purpose. What is this? This one is almost done. This is my jerk. This is my jerk. This is my all-purpose. This is my seafood uh, this is my ox tail. Everybody is dying for this. Another seafood. These are my coatings. This seafood coating. This seafood coating. I think I run out of all purpose coating, but I'll bring some more. Look at this delicious potato. This cook with my all purpose. This cook with my all purpose seasonings. And this cook with my seafood. So we have something else to cook. Now we're going to move this shrimp here. We have our grease. We have our potatoes, so let me turn the phone and hang it. I have something else to cook. You cannot eat grits without scrambled eggs. <laughs> you cannot eat grits and shrimp and potato without your scrambled eggs, right? Okay, so we have all this um, steaming over here. Even our shrimp, we're going to leave little fire there. I don't want my food to get cold. So I'm leaving little fire on my food. Can you get me plates? Get me plates for you. Get me plates for, for me. Get me plates for uh, uh, Lover Lover. Get me plates for uh, Rashida. Get me plates for... <laughs> Rashida is tired. Rashida just came from work. Oh, sorry, guys. All right. Let's make some eggs. Does your seafood seasoning have turmeric in it? Because the shrimp turn a really nice color, look yummy. Miss Monique, mm -mm, I don't, I eat turmeric though, but none of my seasoning have turmeric. Nope, none of my seasoning have turmeric. Turmeric is um, optional. If you want turmeric, that's optional for you. If you want it for yourself, but I don't put no turmeric in my seasoning. Let me clean here a little bit. Then now I'm gonna do my um, my scrambled eggs. 
and um, maybe we're gonna be ready to go to eat. Please get me nice plates. I don't want paper plates. No, me, I don't want paper plates, too. especially uh, for my lover, lover. No, no paper plates. No paper plates, girl. No, I don't mind to wash. No, give me real plate, too. Don't never serve your lover, lover on a paper plate, don't you? Oh, no, you're not going to serve your lover, lover on a paper plate. Your lover, lover going to ask you who raised you, who trained you, who bought you, who, 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 who. You're going to walk away, then you're going to marry 20 times. <laughs> Thank you for 100 stars. Who said it? Auntie Zainab? Yes. <laughs> you see this girl? She refusing you know, to get me a real plate. Go get me a real plate. I'm not using this fake plate. Go, get up and go. Those plates are too much. We're only three in this house. That's too much plates. Go get me real plates if you don't want to fight. Go get me real plates because we're going to fight right now. For my lover, lover, no fake plates. Eh? Uh -uh, no, don't you ever, ever, unless lover, lover get up and serve themselves with a paper plate. But don't you ever. I'm not saying boyfriend, lover, lover. <laughs> boyfriend, lo lo <laughs> fake boyfriend, lover, lover, you give him the, 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 the most breakable paper plates. <laughs> But a real lover, lover, eh? Man, please, get up, go get me a plate. Okay. Let me be serious. I have to cook. So, take your all-purple seasonings. Put some here. Okay, the grease can go there. Yeah, the grease can go there. But even for my lover, lover, I don't want that. Um, for my lover, lover, I don't want that. Get me a real bowl. Get me a real, real bowl. Please. You just don't want to get up, you. <laughs> not this one, not this one. I don't want this. I told I, I don't want this paper plates. No, put it back. No, give me real plates. Maybe me too. I can use this, but give me a real plates. A real plates. Give me a real plates and a real bowl. So I'm gonna put some oil here. Okay. You think she's gonna eat it? I thought you said she's sleeping. Well, I'll take it to her fresh. She might eat it. She, she just come from. It don't matter. Wake her up. She can eat and go back to bed. Give me heavy cream. Okay, let me get some heavy cream. Heavy whooping cream. All right. Put some heavy whooping cream here. It makes your eggs fluffy. You just put small. You can put water. You can put um heavy cream. Then now you're gonna come beat up your eggs like this. Hey, Chef Ruby and family. Hi, Miss Linda. How are you? Hi, Bennett. Hi, Rosalind. Uh-huh. Now you're talking. Now you're talking, dear. Now she's talking. Uh, eh, 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 eh. I always give my husband a real plate, but the kids get paper plate. Be at the break. Eh? Be at the break. I get paper plates. Be at the break my rear plate. Hey. Miss Lynn, you're right. They, these kids, they break rear plates. And they break spoons. They break glass cups. So they deserve paper plates. But lover, lover. Mm -mm. Oh, no. So you said you, when you get lover, lover, you're going to serve them paper plates. That's what you said. For breakfast. For breakfast. Hey, God. So what about Sometimes, you? Sometimes, I don't know. Mm, okay, you better learn for me. Don't tell him that I raised you though. Just say, my mom adopted me when I was 18 it's years old. <laughs> Just tell him that it, that lady, she didn't, she adopted me. She didn't give back to me. She didn't raise me. Because I don't want your lover lover to look at me and say, what is wrong with this lady? How did she raise her daughter to come start? Especially African men. Hey, God. You go serve them on a paper plate, the whole look. You know, African men. You know, African. Why you don't want to marry an African? Because what? African men are good, eh? You don't see our Qatar sisters looking for African men all over the place. Eh? Are you crazy? Sure. Okay. African men eat a lot of food. So when you put the food, the food going like this. They've, you put cassava leaf, goat meat, 
Kaukanda. Can you use without milk? Of course. You can fry your eggs without milk if you want to. It's up to you. But I recommend milk. Milk makes your eggs fluffy. It makes your eggs more fluffy. Or use water. Add water. If you are somebody that that allergic to milk, you know, you don't eat milk, just put small water in your eggs and beat it up. Your eggs going to be so fluffy. Then now you're going to come here and... And mix your eggs. You have to mix it while it's cooking so it don't burn under. So the eggs can look so nice and fluffy. Okay? Let me turn this fire off on this shrimp. I don't want it to overcook. So I turn the fire off on the shrimp. Mara Maba, tell you, Pikino, you hear your picking? Does African men like more than one wife? Of course, if you're Muslim. If you're Muslim men, you can marry up to four wives. Yes. Only in America. Eh? Hey, only in America, most of us come here. I don't want mates. I don't want my husband to marry another wife. In Africa, shoo, do you have a mouth to say anything? In Africa, you the older wife. You the one going to marry the second wife and bring her for your husband. And say, darling, I married a, 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 a second wife for you. Hey, the girl down the street. Oh, she's so pretty. I went and marry her for you. Yes, in Africa, they do that. Mm-hmm. The big wives, they go marry the, the younger wife for their husbands. Yeah. But in America now, I don't want her. Nazma is here. Let me know what I'm saying. <laughs> good afternoon, Lisa. Janet said, good afternoon, Chef Ruby and family and everyone. Thank you. How are you? Good afternoon. You guys come on. Making brunch breakfast. I just wake up. And she said, I'm going to eat you if you see the other life. Oh, my Australian people, can't cook it. She's going to be able to cook. I'm going to cook it. I'm going to invite her. So, I'm going to watch me and I'm going to comment. I'm going to comment. I'm going to comment. I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you. I'm going to eat. No, you're not going to eat my food. You will eh? my eggs. Come here. I'm not wasting no eggs. Come in here back. Mm -mm. I'm going to eat you. No. You all see that? You watch me, you don't come here, you're not getting breakfast. I'm not giving you nothing. Mm -mm. Diddy, come eat. Let's eat, Auntie. Miss Lisa, come on. Come on, let's eat. Greetings, everyone. Greetings, Odessa. How are you? All right, so my eggs are ready. Me, I like my eggs well done because I don't want to eat eggs. I'm seeing that numpo numpo. You know that numpo numpo that comes from the eggs? I don't want to see that. I don't want to smell the rank smell on it. So everything I cook, I like it well, well done. So this one is done. We're going to turn the fire off. So now it's time to dish. It's time to dish. It's time to dish. Okay? So we're going to start with... We're going to start with lover lover. Mr. Lover 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 lover. Hey, Mr. Lover 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 lover. Let me don't give all this potato. Mr. Lava 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 Lava. How's my sing that music for me? What do you say? Mr. Lava Lava Lava. Mr. Lava Lava Lava. Bombastic. Miss... <laughs> what? <laughs> they have that music. I don't know how to sing it. Mr. Lava Lava Lava. Bombastic. Mr. Lava Lava Lava. Mr. <laughs> I think I'm gonna use this small one for the grits. Where is this? Nice, why you get up? Why did I call you? Why you get up? Mr. Lava Lava Lava. So so trauma darling coach. Pow pa pow pa. That's my find me yellow cheese. Find me yellow cheese. Find me yellow cheese. Find me yellow cheese. You better pray to God you find a girlfriend like Chef Ruby. You better pray to God, Alamati. Oh, give me cheese. You all see that plate? Let me put you guys down. 
We don't have cheese. Okay, don't worry about cheese. Give me all the juice. 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 Give I put my shrimp on top of my grapes and sprinkled cheese and parsley. Thank you, my dear Sophia. Yeah, you can do it that way too if you want. It's very good. This is avocado. Mr. Lava, 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 Lava. Ketchup and mm. something else I asked you. Give me yeah. a glass cup and orange juice. The orange juice is in the fridge. I'm teaching you. You don't want to learn. I'm teaching you. Okay. I'm teaching you. Don't go tell. Don't go tell your lover, lover. My mom didn't teach me nothing. Go. Go. Why you don't know how to wake up in the morning and make breakfast for me? Go. Say. Yes, that's how. If you, you say you don't want an, an African man. So your lover, lover. If he's going to be an American man, he wake up in the morning, he's hungry, he want food. That's how, that's how you're going to scream it. Nice! <laughs> I wish a man was screaming at me like that. For real. You know what I used to say? Since I was, since you was five years old, I say you, you're going to beat up all your men. <laughs> and so I used to say that this is what's going to happen right now. Y'all hear this girl? She said she wish a man scream at her like that. <laughs> I need a bigger cup. <laughs> Your boyfriend gonna wake up and say, Nasma, what did you make today, girl? I'm hungry. What did you cook? Girl? He's not even gonna call you girl. He said, bro. <laughs> African child. Go, what? Go serve my lover, lover. So make, why are you after his plate? Mm, make sure you bend down. Oh, Can you tell? Okay. No, no, no. Nasma is refusing to take my plate. I'm not refusing, but make sure you bend. <laughs> take this food. Again, I'm not it. Take this food. Take the food. Huh? <laughs> take the food, Mommy. guys. Tell Nasma. No, for real. Okay, I'm teaching you a good lifestyle. You don't want to learn. Okay, continue. Make sure you bend your butt down. Bend down. Bend down. Oh, no. <laughs> take that food. <laughs> if, you, if you don't take that food, you don't eat it, this food. I swear to God. Yes. You're not eating it. Hey. Bring that food back here. And see if you're going to eat this food. <laughs> I'm trying to train this girl. She don't want to train herself. <laughs> She, everything I tell her, she said no. She said no. You, you, do you guys hear what she said? She said she's going to slap, she's going to give her boyfriend one good slap. Potato, eggs, shrimp, and grape. This for Nazma. She said she's going to slap her boyfriend one good slap. The boyfriend going to realize that you're messing with the wrong girl. <laughs> Let the boyfriend wake up in the morning and say, Nazma. That's why I'm going to ask him too. Did you cook for me? <laughs> Did you cook for me? Uh, this food looks spectacular. Let me fix a small place for Rashida. Because that girl is so picky. Eat it. That's why I said she ain't going to bend down for no man. When you, she don't know nothing. She's just talking because she's young. When you meet the right man, you want to bend down. Trust me. Uh, yes, when you meet the right man in your life, you're gonna bend up. No. Okay, you'll see. You're gonna tell me one day after you grow up. You want to tell me? Huh? I don't eat grits, mommy. You don't eat grits? Well, give me, let me eat it. Um, Do I have just extra potatoes? Extra potatoes? Let, uh, let me let me get my mine first. I don't get nothing yet. So if something left, then you can get extra. Because I don't really like. Mm-hmm. 
You don't give me like that. Huh, potato, give me your plate. Can you call your sister on the phone? You want to take this for her downstairs? Guys, y'all come over, let's eat. This is the best food you can. This is the best food you can ever wake up in the morning and eat. I'm gonna I'm gonna save this shrimp. That's a lot of shrimp. If anybody wants extra, they can get extra. Mm -hmm. So what you you wanted to say something, what you was trying to say? When? No, when I was talking about lover lover. Lover. What you was trying to say? I thought about bending down. You wanna bend down? When you meet the right men in your life, you want to bend down. Trust me. <laughs> You're going to obey. Obey? Oh, see, that one. See, that's that stuff. No. <laughs> You're going to obey. Because, because you give somebody an inch, they're going to take a mile. Like, you say what? Because once you give them an inch, they're going to take a mile. Obey you. Yeah, you're going to obey. Obey. Okay. <laughs> okay. I saw this white lady that went to marry this guy in Nigeria. So they was doing the wedding vows. Then they say obey. She said obey. <laughs> I say who? Obey who? Uh -oh. That's what she said. Because I obey is God. This for Rashida. Mm -hmm. Rashida. Mm -hmm. Eh? Hey, do you obey me? <laughs> God. Mommy, that was my fault. I find it. When do you start obeying me? Do you obey me, Nazma? Hmm? Let me start jumping. <laughs> You obey sometimes, oh, though. Shrimp plate? Yeah, this is shrimp oh, right here. Sometimes she obey. Let me go sit down there. We're, this is a nice conversation we're having. We're going to have a beautiful conversation. Let me put my breakfast over here. <laughs> my grits over here. Clean up here. Oh. You're going to clean up for me. I cook, you're going to clean up. So make sure you clean up. Ketchup. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, that lady said, obey, obey who? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She said, obey who? They said, your husband. She said, hell no. <laughs> she said, hell no. She's not obeying anybody. <laughs> What's the Angela? Her name is Angela. The white lady, she went to Nigeria to, to marry this guy. Oh, fix this camera. Mommy, I'm going to raise you how to obey. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. It's up to you now to not do it. If you don't want to do it, then that's up to you. Then you're the one going to have to answer to your husband why you, you, why you don't want to obey him. Hmm? Mm. Obey. Mm -hmm. I will never obey. Mommy, the fastest thing. <laughs> you will never obey? You I, will, I will listen, mm -hmm. but to obey, that's like a strong word. Obey? Well, what? Direction there. You, Direct, know, I see. Mm -mm. you don't know after God, the next, after God, or after your father, the next husband is your father? Your husband is your father? No, he's not. Oh, yeah. Yeah, your husband is your father. No. After, your, after God and after your father, the next person in your life is your husband. Your husband, not father. That's what I'm saying. Your husband can be your father, too. No, they can't. That's oh, yeah. weird. It's not weird. It's not weird. You call your father, you call your husband daddy, your husband call you mommy. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Guys, do you agree with that? I don't. <laughs> you need to read comments or read comments. <laughs> I don't even know if I follow my phone or the other phone. <laughs> you don't? Why? How can I sit on this chair? Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> You guys come on, let's eat. You need to read comments so you can hear what the people say. I'm I know fine. most of your people are going to support you. Mm. Alicia said, I don't. <laughs> Anthony said, that's the fact. That is weird. <laughs> Regina said, don't just obey. Chef Ruby, you both talk and come to agreement. Exactly. You can come to an agreement, but obey in a sense. Mommy, but that's the wrong term terminology to use when it comes to marriage. Because you guys go by terminal. What? 
<laughs> what did you say? Tell me now. Huh? Huh? I'm being serious. Okay. You no, guys go by terminality. When you're laughing, I don't I didn't think that you're joking. No, I'm not laughing. Okay. You know, sometimes when it's funny, you have to laugh. You guys go by, uh, uh, say the word again. Terminology? You said terminology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys go by that. Ooh, don't go by that. Mm -mm. You know, so you, go by, go you go by your... Wait, are you talking about, like... Are you saying, like, Africans or... What? Just in general. In general. Mm-hmm. Obey your husband don't mean. Don't mean. Mm, I have to say it. I don't know. Sasha said, been married 18 years. And no, I don't agree. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I know all of you guys are not going to agree. But trust Linda me. Linda said, no, Sharubi, that's not true. It's true. You better listen to me. You better obey. I'm not obeying you better no husband. You better, like, like, he's my father. You right? better obey and subdue to your to your husband mm, so they can beat you <laughs> no because as soon as you start doing that they're gonna think you're easy and not like uh-uh no that's gonna, that's gonna make them disrespect you like no let me tell you something you if you could come to a common ground let me tell you something no you see with the too many people with the too many women if if our husband don't beat us they don't love us Mm -hmm. They have to beat us. What? <laughs> That's just the culture. Ask anybody that comes from Sierra Leone. So do you believe in that? A little bit. So... <laughs> I believe in that a little bit. So let's Sometimes try. just a little slap like this. Pete, pete, pete. Hey, I love you. You know they have romantic slap. They have real slap. So, okay. So that's so. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a lot which behind what you just said. So like, mm -hmm. you're basically saying mm -hmm. that it's okay for a man to beat their woman. No, it's not. And and that makes I say and timinim. they love them because they do it. I say Timini. We our tribe. Anybody that comes from Sierra Leone, they will tell you that Timini women. If you if you believe in that. Then that means you think it's okay in any culture mm -mm. for them to do it. I don't think so. I say we the Timini, our tribe. Anybody that comes from Sierra Leone will tell you that Timini women, when they marry to their men, their men have to beat them to show love. If their men don't beat them, that means they don't love them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Read comments, read comments. Find that blue button. Mm. This food is so good. Oh my god. You're gonna make this food. Mm -mm. Mm. I will never. I wanna read Ever, comment, ever, too. ever, ever, ever. I wanna read comment. Can you read comment? You close them. I wanna read. I wanna read their reaction. They're gonna. <laughs> no, guys, we turned the stove off. Um. Mm -hmm. Helen said, do you obey your boyfriend? Mm -hmm. Why not? Why not? Obey? Yes. That word makes me mad. Like, obey? <laughs> no. I obey my boyfriend. Or... I will, I will I'm listen. Tell you I will listen and we come to agree. That comes with obey. But when you listen. But I'm, I will never be anybody's yes man. Like, no, yes. you don't have to say yes ma'am. Obey no, not, I didn't say yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, sir. yes, man. Yes, man. Mm -hmm. Being somebody's yes, man. Mm -hmm. I got it. I will mm -hmm. never be somebody's yes, man. Like, mm -hmm. they, you, whatever they say, go. Mm -hmm. You just, okay, okay, okay. Trailing behind like a dummy. No, mm -hmm. never, ever, ever, ever. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hear your side, and you're going to hear me, too. I will never. Well, listen. Uh, mm -hmm. When we say obey, mm -hmm. it don't mean that you don't have a say, though. Obey your husband means respect him. Okay, like for example now. Let me give you an example. <clears throat> Some women. Let me give you guys an example. You guys take obey in a different level. You all take it to... No, no, no. no, listen to me. Okay. Can you guys listen? We're learning from each other, right? You guys are an American. Me, I'm from Africa, right? 
I'm learning from you guys and you're gonna learn from me too. Mm -hmm. Obey in the sense that don't mean you're gonna let your husband bully you or whatever. Let me give you an example. They have women out there that live with their men. It, not even boy, even husband, a man that take them to court and marry them legally or whatever. They live together in the house. Some of them want to go somewhere, right? They will grab their bag. Let's say the husband is at work. They will grab their bag and just go. And go stay out there maybe with friends or whatever they're doing out there. They will stay there for hours and hours and hours. They will even maybe have the decency to pick up the phone and say, Hey, husband or, or boyfriend or whatever relationship you're in, I'm leaving the house. I'm going somewhere, whatever, whatever. To us, that's obey. You tell, you know, obey and communication. So when somebody say obey, in Africa, you know, our, our words, they're very strong. When we say them, sometimes you guys mean them here differently. I hope I'm making sense here. They have women in a household, maybe that won't even get, get up in the morning and make breakfast like this for their men. You know, they don't care. They will, they will sit down and flip the remote. They will wait for the husband or boyfriend or whatever relationship to even wake up and come make food for them and give them. Once in a while, it's okay. But to do it like every day, that's not obeying your husband or as a woman doing the right thing. Do you get my point? Maybe that's how we look at it. But that don't mean, although Africa... Some other people, they take it to the extreme, um, the, the obey word. Afri most of African, in, in, um, African women in Africa, I grew up in those kind of household. Our mothers, my mother, my stepmom, other married people around the area, we see them the way they take care of their husbands, the way they obey them, da 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 And whatever I'm saying is real. Women in Africa, sometimes their husband whoop them and they don't have nothing to do about it. Or maybe they will go to the parents' house. The parents bring them back. They say, stay in your married house. This is reality, you know. So I'm sharing that part with you guys. It's not good. Even me living in America for the tw past 20 years now, I when I look back, I'm saying like, oh, these men used to abuse these ladies, you know, for nothing. You don't have nothing to say. You just sit there. Even if you want to leave the husband house, you cannot take, like in America, the way you divorce or separate, you take all your kids and go. Africa, you cannot do that. You have to leave your kids in the husband house. You can go by yourself. My sister, Alima, is a perfect example. You know that, right? When she left, she had to leave Aputo and Alusa with their dad, right? She don't have right to take them. Do you know that, right? When he was in Africa, right? You saw that with your eyes. Am I lying? Hmm? I'm saying the truth, right? So it's, it's, it's diff. I wish you can read comments. It's cultural differences. Okay, give me my phone so I can read comments. Hmm? Can I show me how to read comments here? I don't think this phone followed, Chef Ruby. Yeah, because some of this conversation, I really want to read the comments so I can hear from other people. You know, I can hear what people are saying. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, but like, mm -hmm. of course, we we see that type of stuff differently. Like, mm -hmm. in our eyes, that's like very, very wrong. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't beat. You don't respect somebody if you constantly beat on them. You don't mm -hmm. respect that person. You don't love that person mm -hmm. if you get, have the guts. Mm -hmm. If your heart even lets you put your hands on somebody, you don't love them or respect them. I'm well, so, so you, sorry. But you want to tell me that people that have relationships here in America, they don't fight? Mommy, men mommy, don't beat say, up on their women. Mommy, I didn't, I didn't say that. Okay. I'm saying mm -hmm. if a woman is being good to you and stuff, mm -hmm. like you said, in Africa, the wife, they take care of the mm -hmm. husband. Da, 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 da. But... So if what is that man beating on her? For? No, but sometimes they will have like palaver. Okay, like, but that doesn't justify him putting his hands on the. They don't wife. just get up and beat up women though. So, Some women, their mouth is too sharp. Okay, so well, sometimes that, the men just go like this. Keep quiet. That's even. <laughs> even that. Even if your wife is shutting your ear off, like walk away and then y'all both calm down. It's so many different solutions, but. 
That's that's just that. Like that's your culture. Some women don't need to okay. shut them down a little bit and say, "Keep quiet." I don't, but let me tell you that's something. Not, but let me tell you something. Huh? Even living in America, some some guys here, some guys here when they piss off, the next thing to do, you know, <laughs> they will beat you up or they hurt you. The next thing to do. Oh, you follow my page. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Give me, let me read my comments. Now I want to read my comments. Chef, I. <laughs> it's not right. Either way, like your culture, mm -hmm. our co it's not right. You can you can listen to your husband mm -hmm. without. I mean, obey means to follow orders. Like you have to. How they say obey the law? Obey. You have to, mommy, you mm -hmm. have to obey the law. That mm -hmm. means you have to follow it. Mm -hmm. There's no other way. Like mm -hmm. obey th that mm -hmm. word. It means like mm -hmm. you have you have to follow it. You have obey. Mm -hmm. So that's like the wrong term to use. Like and I feel like obey should not be anywhere like mm -hmm. near the words like marriage together. No, mm -hmm. like respect. <laughs> You know, listening. The comments are so crazy. Respect, listening, <laughs> like, yeah. Miss Dolly said, I agree. Men shouldn't hit their wives. I agree with that, too. Miss um, uh, Sekora said, nah, keep your hands in your pocket. <laughs> uh, let me see. Um, Janet Mommy, said, oh, you man. said a mouthful of that. A mouthful of that's real. Obey your husband. If he obey God, Miss Janet said. Um, Sophia said, different countries have different cultural ways of doing things. Definitely. And I'm sharing my part of that, you know, because I grew up in those type of family, you know. So I'm not shy. I'm not shy. Hey, where this thing went now? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure to share that part of us or that part of me because I grow up there. I see it with my own eyes. You know, most part is wrong, and most part too. Like the obey side, me I respect that. When you have a, a good man in your life, a man that provides, hold on, not obey. Yeah, a man that pro provide a man a man that's a real man in the house i think you the woman should respect him obey him I mean, understand him obey. he go both ways he it's can not, obey you too as his wife why men why they tell him men so treat their women like like their queens but obey and respect is different well that's the problem you guys take it differently no it means but different it means different you see so maybe that's the difference mm -hmm. that's the differences we have here or we are talking about why this page keep going? Mm -hmm. This page, it keep disappearing. Maybe to respect is uh -huh. like to honor someone. And like, mm -hmm. like everything, honor, honor everything. and obey, what's the difference? Mommy, obey is mm -hmm. submitting to whatever somebody tells you. Like, mm -hmm. you're, you're being someone's yes man, literally. And mm -hmm. to respect is mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. Respecting them mm -hmm. is honoring them. Reciprocating whatever good they pour into you, you pour back into them. Mm -hmm. Like, you mm -hmm. know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if you're obeying, mm -hmm. what respect does that person have for you? What When you have, try to say something, it's, 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 no, it's good. No, you, no, they won't. Mm -hmm. If you obey, mm -hmm. they're going to run all over you. Mm -mm. No, yes, no, yes they are. Mommy, because, no, but you, you, the woman too, you have to have that power to not to let somebody run all over you. Mommy, of course, I can that. obey. I can obey and respect you. I can respect you, but you have to do the same too, because when they say that, oh, I want this man to treat me like a queen, then that means he want the man to respect you, to respect you too. Maybe obey you as his queen or as his princess. Listen, mommy, listen to me, not. Mm -hmm. Not obey. Mm -hmm. So you guys just don't want to obey what? Period. Because obey is just like, it's not the right, you know? It's not the right English word no. to use. Oh. So that means Africa will be using the wrong word. Obey. Obey your husband. 
Respect your husband. Submit to your no, husband. No, because in Africa they actually obey and they allow the men to beat on them. Like that's no obey. So okay, what's my next question? I really want to understand this claim. I understand where you're coming from. That's why the comments. Okay, obey is um. Okay, let me read. Michelle has said obey is commanding orders or authority. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, Miss Wanda said, I will never, ever, never, ever allow my husband to put his, no, hold on, put his, hey God, where is this coming? Put his hands on me. If he does, I am going to defend myself first. Hey God. First and foremost, then and, I want to have him locked up and, yeah. <laughs> and first, oh no, I, for, what? And first, a hey God, if a man and first ever, and foremost, then I am going to have him lock up and then pull him out. Hey, if a man, America, yes. if a man ever <laughs> think he can put his hands on me, think, I what about if I, you put no, your hands on him first? I don't. I'm not doing that. A lot of women does. But I'm not. I'm not an abuser. I'm not. I'm a not, I'm not a physical. No, I'm not. I'm, what did you just say that you want to slap your husband? If he be rude to me, you like, want to slap him just because he's rude to you? You cannot you put your said, hands on him. No, mommy. No. <laughs> you see, it's it's not. That's not even what I was trying to say. <laughs> if he think, if a man think he can run <laughs> over me. And put his hands on me. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm. I'm gonna defend myself, of course. I, I will never let a man put his hands on me. I will put a cap in his butt, if, if anything. You do what? Put a cap in his butt. What is that? <laughs> He'll find out if he ever put man ever put. I'm not playing no games. I'm not taking nothing from nobody. That's I, something that you talk about. I should not. Uh, uh, <laughs> to not take. It. Guys, as soon as that's my get married, I'm moving to Africa. Wow. <laughs> I'm not going to be here. Yes, you will. <laughs> no. Yes, you will. Hey, Miss Essie said, obey means that we follow the instructions of an authority. Authority um, figure. Respect means that we show, we show due regards for, read for me, man. For sorry for I'm, the feelings. For the feelings. Wish and wishes and right. And I will right. not wish let my right. husband beat on me. Mm -hmm. I expect my husband to love me and mm -hmm. I will love and respect my husband too. No hitting each other in our home. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then Miss Wanda, read Miss Wanda comments. Sasha said bully. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> This one just said, Come on, baby, I'm right here with you. You guys right. sitting here. You're here in this girl. Say that she gonna put a tap. <laughs> you gonna put a, a tap cap, in this. A cap. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna put a cap in this butt. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be here when that's my get married. I am going straight to Africa. Nobody gonna call me. Miss Wanda said I will not put my hands on him because I don't want his hands on me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But I will cuss him out and he still <laughs> better not touch me, right? <laughs> I'm telling you, my mom, if if a man really love you, mm -hmm. like really mm -hmm. like know that you are his person, mm -hmm. he would not ever think <laughs> twice like to put his hands on you, like to even like argue with you would be hard for him. Like, mm -hmm. you know, but, yeah, but that don't mean you the woman too gonna ride over him. Because I never said that. Some women does. The women do. It, go, yeah. it goes opposite. Uh, the no, it, it, it does go both ways. Uh -huh. But Thank mommy, you. listen though. Mm -hmm. Women, I feel like <clears throat> mm -hmm. some were raised mm -hmm. to think that that was okay because they grew up in households where yes. it was justified. Like, mm -hmm. so they think it's okay. Mm -hmm. Mom fighting, dad fighting. Okay, when I when I do that, da, then it's okay for me to do too. That's mm -hmm. why. Mm -hmm. That's why when. Sorry. Mm -hmm. In those households, they're they're basically taught, not even on purpose, just because of what they see. And mom and dad, they'll come kumbaya, <laughs> and then and again they back to fighting. So they think it's okay. And mm -hmm. feel like that's that's why. Mm -hmm. 
So it's true what Mr. Sakura said. She said women beat on men too. People are just wild. Then Miss Kathleen said, Yes, some children grow in violence and violent home. So they learn that behavior. It's true. That's why as a mother, if you are in that kind of relationship, you have to pack up and go. Don't keep sitting there. You know? Don't keep sitting there. Um, Daisy said, Nazma, you know, Nazma, you know a lot to be so young. Definitely. And the reason they know so young, because they, they know how they grow up with me. Even me sitting here, most of these things I'm saying, yes, it's true. These are things that happen in Africa. And most of you guys know about them. I'm not lying. I'm not making up stories. These are things that happen in Africa. And some of us, like Nazma said, we grow up in those homes. They happen. You see them with your eyes and there's nothing you can do about it. But me coming over here, I show them that you, 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 you as a woman, you're not supposed to be in those type of situation. You deserve better. And they've seen that maybe more than one or two times when I pack up at a young age with them and move out. I say, let's go. Even when I left their father, I think Asma was two years old. You know, you don't, you as a woman or as a mother, you don't encourage those type of behavior, especially in front of your kids. Because kids will learn from that. You know, so if that lady is saying that Nazma know a lot for a young age, trust me. I can say she she see what she see, she know what she know. So she know better that as a woman, you don't take that. Especially abuse, you know. That's why I'm saying that's why I'm saying that it go both ways. They have women that abuse men too. They have men that abuse women too. But if you are fortunate to be in that kind of situation, man or woman, you have to you have to go. You have to go right away. Nazma will Nazma would be great a professional counselor. Yes, that's Kath true. Kathleen said yes, Nazma, you have to know how you should be treated from now. I'm proud of your thinking and you're so young. Yes, Thank you me. have to know how you should be treated. And like I said, they saw that from me mm, two times. I pack them up. I say, let's go. We're not staying here. Mm -hmm. Even if it's um, boo-boo, let's go eat it on the street. But we're going to go. And I did it right in front of them. And God see us through all the way. You know? And don't be scared. They have women out there that live in those kind of situations with kids that are scared to live just because of kids. Mm -hmm. They are scared. You're scared how you're going to go pay those bills by yourself. You're scared how you're going to live life by yourself because maybe you used to now the guy pay the rent you pay the utility bills and stuff like that so you just scared that am i going to make enough money to be able to pay my own bills mm -hmm. so that's the fear that make a lot of people stay in this kind of yeah, situation and, and i and i understand all that mm -hmm. like the fear of being maybe alone or alone. something, mm -hmm. you know, how am I gonna do it by myself? Mm -hmm. But I promise you, if you got that motivation, your your kids will motivate you to want to do better. And those kids are not glue. It will they will whatever I don't know. I don't care how much you you think those kids gonna make y'all stick. They're not glue. Mm -hmm. You need to get up and leave. Mm -hmm. Get up and leave. Miss Nikki said my mom was killed by her by her boyfriend in front of me eh? and my two young sisters domestic violence i was only 14 years old oh my god i'm that's so sorry so i'm that's so sorry so to hear that that's the word i wanted to say before but i said i cannot say it because i'm on social media mm -hmm. you know people can get killed from those type of things mm -hmm. so that's why as a woman or man you should not be violent to your partner Especially if, if you are lucky enough to have a good partner, woman or man, <coughs> be good to them. Respecting them, listening to them, you know, sometimes follow their directions. Don't mean you are sub, sub, subduing to them or, or obeying them. You know, like I said, you guys here use big, big English words. But for us, some of our English words is translated in a different way here, you know. Africans sometimes we say words, maybe we don't know the deep meaning of it. We know the meaning, but maybe the deep meaning of it we don't know. 
you know so that's why sometimes we just say words you know but me to me obeying mean i will respect you i will listen to you i will follow your direction your advice because in relationships sometimes you all have to follow each other's um advices you all have to listen to each other growing up right now at this age 43 going to 44 you know what the way my life is right now the way i'm carrying my life right now is not the same when i was younger though when i was in my 20s to 30s 35 no mm -mm. when i was that at that age when you say a i will say b when you say c i'm gonna say d so we're gonna go till we finish the al alphabet whoever end first but at this age right now i learn to listen i learn to respect you i learn to treat you as a king you know I learn to make you happy and I'm expecting the same from you. You know, that don't mean I'm sub subduing or submitting or obeying or whatever. No, that's how relationships supposed to be. You take care of your man like he's your, he's your, he's your son. That don't mean he's your son. That don't mean he's your son. Because if you can wake up in the morning and make breakfast for your kids, like the way I make breakfast, if Madu and Abu was here, Madu and Abu, come eat. I dish for them, I give them. Why can't I do that for my husband or my boyfriend or somebody I'm living with? Why can't I do that? You know? So it don't mean he's my son, but I do the same thing I do for him as I do for my son, for my kids. You know? I hope I'm making sense here. So it goes... To the men's too you know if you're a woman you in their lives and they have daughters the same way they love their daughters the same way they take care of their daughters that's the same way you as a woman you're a woman too he's supposed to take care of you too he's supposed to give you that same type of love and that same type of caring you know what i mean so i think that's the difference we understand things different you guys on the understand things different when when you call your husband daddy i know a lot of women here even americans they call their husband hey daddy hey mommy hey well that don't mean he's your real dad or that don't mean he's she's your real mom you know maybe it's just a pet name you guys want to call each other you know just the sake of romantic just the sake of love you know anything can make your relationship spice up and sweet and and anything can make you guys understand each other the comments are not coming here to read <laughs> that's why it's laughing at me that's why it's laughing at me no 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 the, the no, comments it's a, right? no it's the last thing you said <laughs> anything can make the thing like, I'm, romantic <laughs> romantic yeah she's laughing up uh sheila make it thank you i pray for strength I pray for strength a lot. I am 55 years old and sometimes I have flashback. I know my, oh my God, Nikki, I feel so bad. You know, that's why they say sometimes you don't know what people are going through in their lives. I see you on my life most of the time mm -hmm. since I started. If you didn't share this with me, I would never, I would never imagine or, or think that you went through that. You know, so. Wait, did you put spicy on it? No. You know, but like you said, you are 55 years years old woman now. This thing happened when you was 14 years old. So I hope, I just hope that, you know, at least you grow through that. Because those kind of, those kind of things can traumatize kids. And those things can make some kids, they grow up to be something else. But for you to grow up all the way to 55 right now, and probably you have your own family now, you have your own kids. So to me, I feel like you grow out of it. It's still in your head. You still have a flashback, but you grow out of it. And I'm sure you have a lot to teach your kids if you have kids. So I'm so sorry to hear that. And may your mom so rest in peace. Violence is wrong. Violence is not good. You know, violence in any relationship if you cannot love me, I love you. If we cannot share, if we cannot share and love together, then we don't have to be together. You know, love is love. Love not supposed to be pain. Love supposed to be happiness, smiling every day. All right, Rashid Nazma. Look at all those comments over there. I'm not seeing them. All right, we need them. They don't come. 
Okay, now you have to. Oh, press. now I see it. Okay. <laughs> Michelle said, this is why I love Chef Ruby and her family, because you are getting lesson, lessons in cooking and in life all in one. Thank you, uh, Miss Ro Ronama, Rona, eh? Ronami said, my aunt, my aunt and uncle used to call each other mom and daddy so the kids can know to call to call them mom and daddy. People do it for different reasons though. A lot of people do it for different reasons. Some people do it just for the sake of love. Some people do it just for the sake of, they, that's how they like it. You know, but that don't mean calling, you better call your man daddy. <laughs> Zara. <laughs> And Miss Regina yeah. said exactly, love doesn't hurt. No, love not supposed to hurt. Love Any love that hurts hurt. me, I'll, I'll hurt that love back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> love not supposed to hurt. <laughs> no, it's true. Me, even growing up, when I did, when I know what what is love or whatever, you know, it, it used to be happiness. Just even young age. You have this little boyfriend that likes you. They will come. They bring you flowers. They will come stand behind your house. They hide in. Those funny, funny things. Yeah. That's what we know. But now love bougie and bougie. <laughs> Mark Tyson, no. I'm right. going to run that, and my that, that, like, um, mm -hmm. what you just described, like, mm -hmm. nowadays, you only see that in movies. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of, I don't, I don't know. I don't see myself, like, being interested, like, in anybody like nobody's what? no no you're gonna date you're gonna no go. let me let me tell you let me tell you let me tell you let me let me tell you there's been situations where like a boy tried to talk to me mm -hmm. but they're so like i don't know how to explain mm -hmm. it mommy you're gonna find one mm. no let me, let me tell you no, let me not finish stay here till you, you touch it. i know but let me finish mm -hmm. <laughs> they're not they're not like how you describe? Mm -hmm. They're they're dumb. Mm -mm, not all of them. They're not respectful. Like not all of them. Mm -mm. No, the no. people that I've come across, mommy. Okay, the right well, one. They've is come coming. across me, of mm -mm. course. But I'm just saying, like the people that have tried to, like a lot of the boys in my generation, about around my age, mm -hmm. they're not. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's just not giving. Mm -hmm. That I'm gonna marry someone like. I don't know. What time are you planning to move out? <laughs> no, Mommy, you're worried about moving out. No, like, that's not a. Uh -uh. You're trying to make excuse now. You have a lot of boys, a lot, lot of good guys out there. You're going to be 19. Not my age. Okay, listen now. You're going to be 19 April. At the age of 20, 21, you, you, should, you should start looking. Oh yeah. For what? Oh yeah. For I'm not looking for nothing. You, 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 uh, wait. You're, gonna, you're not going to stay here till you daddy. It's not going to happen. No, no. I will never go searching for nothing. No, you're going to search. No, I'm not. I promise mm -hmm. you not. You're going to find the right one. Mm -mm. I, mean, I promise no, you, no. I will be a-okay. -A no, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> not in this house. No, no, no. I'm not saying I'm going to stay here. Until I get married, like <laughs> no, no. I don't agree with that. This girl is trying to make us. No, I'm not. Oh, Mommy, no. I'm. I'm telling you, uh -huh. there is nobody for me out here right now. Okay, I'll find you one. What? I don't want no African man. Uh <laughs> I'll, I'll find you one. They have a lot of good men out there. I'll find you one. You know? I'll find you. No, even if it was, even that's if, arranged. No. No, it's not arranged. That's arranged. It's marriage. not arranged. I'll find you somebody very good. I have a lot of nieces. And, and <laughs> you see? Like. <laughs> I have a lot of nephews. You don't see all those nephews that come here. Mommy, don't play. That. <laughs> no, those are like my brothers. I can't know. Mm -hmm. mm. They're not your brothers. I said they're like my brothers. I they're would never. Brothers. I would never. Mm -hmm. Ever. I'll find you one. Mm -mm. By 22. 22? 23. You oh, should be no. starting to pack. I'm going to rent a U-Haul. You going to see that? Mm -mm. No. You what? Don't even say that. You telling me you don't see nobody in your age you don't like. Don't say that to 
Well, there's one person. No, uh, which one? <laughs> who, who? Call, which one? If it's not good, I'll tell you it's not no, good. No, which it's one? Not, he's my friend. Which one? Did I ever see him? Do I know him? Which one? Which one? I'm not saying it all. Tell me. He's probably watching. He watching me? Probably. Who's that? Probably. We're just friends, so I don't, I don't like him. Which one? I, I, I had a crush on him in my high school, but I don't have him no more. Which high school is he at you? Mm -hmm. From Sandy Creek. American? Mm -hmm. I don't know him. Yes, you do. No, I don't. You even made a joke about his name. Remember on my birthday, we were on FaceTime and he was super, he said happy birthday with us. And then you talked to him. Mm -hmm. You have a crush on him. No, I said in, in junior year of high school. I did, but not anymore. We're just well, I leave him alone. He's Let me tell you, mommy. Okay. Huh? I don't remember him. Mommy. No, I don't no, know him. No, come, 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 come. No, no, no. No. Remember you made a joke? No. Mommy, everybody remembers that joke you made. No, but you still have a crush on him no, because no. when you're talking, you're laughing. I'm laughing at you. No, you still have a crush on him. No, I don't. No, you better go get him if you have a crush on him. So you guys can start. I don't. Back it up. Okay, well. But you're not going to stay here after 25. You got to go. 25 is even too long. 22, 23. You got to go. That's, no. No, you got to go. I'm, done. I'm not joking. No, okay. Mm, that's why it's so sweet. No, you have to let me live my life. Without that's why. I'm going to do a lot. She, she, I have a lot to do. Eh? Man. Without me? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. We got Without <laughs> you and Rashida. I have a lot to do. Mommy. Like those boys, I'll dump them to their dad's house. Shoot. Sure. Okay. I'm gone. Mm -mm. I have a, you and Rashida. I'm going to help you guys. Wait. Mm -hmm. So I can go start looking for apartment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Start looking. No, seriously? Mm -hmm. Mommy. <laughs> I think I'm drinking. I'm not drinking. Them. <laughs> Let me go call you. Mm -hmm. I'm not joking. Them. No. I think I'm drinking. <laughs> you are joking. No, no. Mommy, you are joking. Okay. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mommy, I don't really get the rat of you. Mm -hmm. Find a job first. <coughs> a job? Yeah. After I find a job, even if, even if your rent is not enough, I can add for you. You and Rashida. You're good. <laughs> no, you Two would. bedroom, nice one. Mommy. Mm -hmm. But we, we're going to stay. We're going to move like one house. Over. Give me Brian's number. Who? Brian. Who is Brian? The boy you just tell me. Why do you want his number? I'm going to hook you up. Give me the number. Let me talk to him. Who's Brian, though? You, how do you call him? I'm not saying you because now you know. You're trying to tell the lies. And, <laughs> like, what if his mom watches you? Uh, well, how is mom, that means she goes too far with him. How is mom going to watch me? Because she's, like, around your age. How is mom know me in the first place? That means you're going... No, 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 you have to talk. I never said his mom knew you. No, you have to talk. You said, what if his mom watched me? Now exactly. Okay. It's a small world. Okay, so now tell me what's going on. How his mom going to know? How his mom going to know I'm Chef Ruby? I didn't say his mom knew you. I said, what if his mom watches you? And, and we say his name. Okay, they have millions of Brian. They have what? millions of uh, um, Abraham. They have millions of... Mohammed, they have not, not with his name, no. You didn't call his last name. So how Who is mom, we talking about? How his mom but okay. How his mom gonna know that's my son girlfriend mom over there? Girlfriend? Okay. I'm what? How is mom gonna know? Let me clean up. This is serious talk with last man. Tell me what's huh? going on. Let me hook you up. I mean, no. No, sometimes no, some we're of really you kids, though, for real. Mm -hmm. I'm not. No, but you guys, you guys, you're different. Y'all don't know how to hook yourself up. What? So if you tell me, I can hook you up. I don't want to be hooked up. I'm not. What if I'm not relationship? So what time frame you planning to? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Mommy, good night. <laughs> no, let me stop laughing. What? Let's, let's, the, the jewels are watching us. Let's be serious. At what Now time, you want to be serious. Yes, I'm serious. At what, this is the same conversation I'm going to have with Sashida when she wake up. For, Mommy, no. For, for both of you. <laughs> no. <laughs> you saw that boy yesterday at the restaurant. The, the Korean boy. Oh. Mm -hmm. When he said 23, he lived with his sister. They buy a house together. Yeah. You, did you hear that yesterday? That's why I'm trying to get you guys, you and Rashida. At the age of 22, 23, you can buy your first house. You pay your rent. You know? Me and my sister. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why not? That would be nice. So that's a good conversation, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Um, but what my are you kids saying? are 24, 25, 27. Um, years old, they have jobs and kids, but I miss them being around. Hmm. I, that's what I want to do. That's the, <laughs> that's the feeling I want at that age. I just want to miss them. Mm -hmm. You sound like my really? mom. Find a husband okay. for you. <laughs> I'm going to marry this kid, so I swear I'm going to marry you guys. It's good to marry at the age of 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Those wow. age. Why? Yeah. Because it's good to marry at that age. It's good to have your kids at that age. It's good. Look at me and you today. Mm. Look at me and you. Who can know you're my child? Yeah, I Nobody. I child. grow up with you guys. You know? So you don't want to wait till you're 30, 40, then you start a life. Oh, no. It's I'm not going to wait that yeah, age. Well, sometimes you're going to be picky, 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 picky <laughs> till the time flies. So from 21 to 25, both of you, both of you guys should be married and move out. That's in like two years. No, in two years. I'm going to be 19 next year. Okay. 20, 20 21. Two years. Yeah, two years. Mm -hmm. oh, two years geez. should be enough. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. These kids are not ready. Eh? Mm-hmm. Shasha said she married at the age of 25. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Me, I married at the age of 20. I got married at the age of 23. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm rushing now. At least I tell him he don't rush. Uh -uh. No, I'm rushing. I don't want to babysit in my own house. Nope. Mm -mm. I don't want to babysit in my own house. What's that? Leave me alone. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I don't want to babysit in my own house. Yeah, they can get a house together. Definitely, Miss Jo. That's that's what I'm talking about here. 23, 24, you can buy your own own house. You all stay together. Then I can size that. I think we should start off like with an apartment next year. No, if you start with a house, that's no problem. Well, I know that. No, apartment like... is same price like house now. <laughs> same price. So house, you can build equity. Mm. You know, you can build, you know, interest or whatever. So, mm -hmm. if you and your sister can buy a house later, you don't want it, you can rent it or you can sell it and share the profit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so many ways. Chef, you will miss them. Of course, I'm going to miss them because I grow up with them. I can say 85% mm, or 90% I raised them by myself. You know, so if I... If I sit here and said I'm not going to miss them, I'm just lying or I'm joking. <laughs> of course, I'm going to miss them. Okay, Sheila said, me too, but... She's not going to miss her. She's going to be calling us every the day. <laughs> Divorce at huh? 14 years. Divorce at 14 years of, of him going back for... Oh, that's, that's the thing I'm scared to worry, prison, mm. for any of my kids. Yeah. <laughs> No, I don't want none of you guys to go to jail or prison for nothing. Why are you scared? We don't no, like I'm that. scared, but it's, you know, it's life. Life, yeah. something can happen. Mm -hmm. it, it, it don't matter. Something can happen where you're going to be arrested. I, I just pray for none of my kids to step their feet in that place. Yeah. Yeah. That's my prayer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't want even your enemy to go in there. Oh. Yeah. Mm. It's a bad place. Mm -hmm. You know, so... I pray for none of my kids not to go there. Mm -mm. But mistakes happen in life. Things happen in life. Um, false accusation can happen. Mm -hmm. You can fall in the wrong hands. You know, and especially this part of the world we are living. Some things can happen. Maybe you are even innocent, but it will put you there for 
for a period of time, you know. Mm -hmm. So as parents, we pray for our kids not to ever, ever step their feet in there because it's just not, not a good feeling. Mm -mm. Having somebody in that place, it don't matter if it's your child, your husband, your sister, your brother, whoever, family member, is, is, is very painful. Yeah. Yes, it's a very bad place. Um, that was long ago. They married at those age, but now I will advise young people to take their time. Definitely, yes. Like, not, you can be in a relationship, but you don't have to get married at, like, 23. No, if the, that's, person, that's too, like, if, if the person is serious about you, you you show that is your soulmate, then get married. I, feel like, I don't like that boyfriend, boyfriend, something thing, you know? Boyfriend, you can break up anytime or they can leave you for another woman. Exactly. But if they so, already marry you, you guys are legally married and you're living together. Sometimes when you want to leave, you think twice. You husband just can cheat. If a husband cheat, well, don't, cheat don't even go to that cheating side. Because cheating, if a husband show wins, listen, mommy, you, don't go. you have to live with the person to know them. Let me tell you something. Don't go to the cheating. Because cheating is something that started since 19 something. Junior. Yeah, and cheating is a choice. From the century. Cheating is a choice. So cheating, women and men, they can cheat. I know, so you but... you pray to God for God to give you the right men. Mommy, I know. But you cannot but, say my husband don't cheat 100%. What? You will never say my husband don't cheat 100%. What do you mean? Yeah, because some guys, they cheat. They, they hide. They don't right. Go so don't go to that cheating side. Mommy, that cheating... cheating I mean, cheating. the truth will always come to light. Cheating, you have to pray. Pray about it? Yeah. So Please. your boyfriend don't cheat. Mommy, they cheat once, they're going to cheat again. Bye-bye. Well, you're going to marry them plenty of time. If you no. Say, I, if you mommy, say any man that comes to you, I'm going to get married one you. time. Okay. If any man come to you, they cheat, you divorce them, they come, they cheat. Oh, God. Lord mommy, I'm going to get married one time. A lot of marriages. A lot of marriages. A lot of marriages. Now I see the vision. I see a lot of marriages in your life. <laughs> mm. No, I'm only getting married one time, no, no, one time no. only. Any men that cheat on you, sometimes you give them chance. No, change. Some men mommy change. cheating. Okay. You don't love me. No, you, don't love about you don't want me. No, cheating. No, cheating has <laughs> started since 19th century. And that's 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 them. If they want to, great great grandpas used to cheat. Mommy, if they want to go for that, they can go for that. But I respect myself too much. To go back to somebody that cheated on me? No. Uh, you need to go beat uh, 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 President Clinton. Because she's still with her husband. That's them. You know? That's them. I'm me. When you love your man, you're not going to leave him. Okay, I... No. No. Yes. Cheating will make me lose all respect for you. Like, no. You, for you to go step out on me... And go try to be with another woman? No. Some women. Absolutely not. Some Whatever women, the situation. No. Some women. Oh, sorry. Some women, they will know that you have a good man. And maybe they are very close to you. Sometimes they want to sell themselves so cheap and free to your man for them to get to you or for them to take your man. So it's not all cheating you want to divorce. How so, many? Mm. Well, I'm sorry. You when you were walking around, could no, I'm said. saying that some women they want what you have. Some women they see that you in this good relationship. Your husband love you. Da, 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 da. Some of them they're your friends. Some of them they family members or whatever. They're gonna want to sell themselves so cheap and free to your man because they see what you have. They think if they come date your man, they're gonna have the same thing from him and stuff like that. You understand? So it's not all cheating you're going to divorce. Some cheating you're going to lose. And that person that cheat with your man, they're going to take your man away from you. They take what you have. So sometimes that's why you have to pay attention and, 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 and pay attention into things. I start for life seven times. Nobody pray for that. May the Lord forgive. You know, something like that happened. I ain't going to leave my man for you. No, I ain't going to leave my man for you. You, you the one I'm going to deal with. Because you're not going to take him away from me. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't fighting over no man. No, no fighting. If, if a man I'm not wants talking to... fighting. I'm me. saying I'm I not know. leaving my man for that. I'm going to stay with him. Okay. So if... you that go sell yourself cheap, you don't want to foolish yourself. If my husband... I feel like a lot of women don't be like... How do I say it? They don't want to hold the man accountable. Like...
If your husband, you. if your husband go for that, that's so, that's very low of him. <laughs> that's very low of him. Like, there's, there's a choice. You can either entertain that person or not entertain them. It's a choice. It's it's a choice. And there's no in between. Okay, mommy, the women can do all that, whatever, whatever. But the man, though, has a choice to ignore. Mommy, voodoo and stuff. Okay, that's, that's okay. But in general, without the magic stuff, like... So take what you have. So you two, you have to stand strong. I'm not fighting. Not fighting. Mommy, you don't understand the, my daughter. I'm teaching you. Mommy, I'm, if, a, if a woman wants to take my man... Like, she can do all that. I'm not going to react to that because I'm going to have faith. Like, oh, like, yeah, not, like I'm going to have pray. faith. I'm going to have faith that my man wouldn't go for none, nothing yeah, like that. Pray. Pray. Okay. I'm, I'm going to have faith that my man wouldn't go for nothing like that. But if he does, bye-bye. Like, I'm not staying with you because, mommy, <laughs> what's that thing? They said a, a man who... Falls for anything, stands for nothing. Like, no, they're gonna fall for every That's little not. situation shit that that tries to come. That's a no. That's they, they're gonna keep doing it. I'm not staying with them. I want to live your this life every day. You know how to educate people. For I ain't staying. I'm not. Mm -hmm. If you accept that, you go and accept that, and you see how you like it over there. Like, I'm not. It won't be no more, no more me. You, they will never find another me. I know that much. They will never find another me. So I, I'm gonna leave them be and let them do what they want to do. I'm never, I will never stay ever. I'm, I'm proud of you. Mother. I will never stay ever. I'm proud of you. No. Let me clap for you. No. You wanna be a strong cookie? Hey. So you men out there, get ready for Nazma. Nazma ain't no joke. You come for Nazma, Nazma will come for you ten times. Right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because That's no. Good. I like, I like the she hair. She didn't get a choice. So sorry. It's a choice. Do you guys hear this, baby? Amen, young lady. Hey, let's clap for Nazma. Clap for Nazma! <laughs> You're going to take a long time to get married to this one. <laughs> no, I'm not. You want me to accept cheating? <laughs> no, don't expect cheating. <laughs> Some cheating, you know. Sometimes, no, what I'm saying is, mommy, that, you're trying to justify <laughs> cheating. Like, I'm not justifying cheating, but you know, some men's no, I cannot see that. I'm going, some men's they will make mistake. No, no, cheat. Cheating is not you a mistake, forgive. sometimes you forgive. Is a choice. especially sometimes when you have kids, you have mm -hmm. a whole family you've already built for the past 10, 15, 20 years. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just don't want to let it go just like that. You not know, me. so sometimes they will say work on your marriage, you go counseling, prayers, you know, that's all I'm saying. I'm not all saying that is, mm -mm. I'm not saying to encourage you, you know, but you see Kobe, may he so rest in peace, same thing, his wife forgive him, they move on, you know. That's them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If, but, mm -hmm. oh, look what Kobe got, okay? Mm -hmm. you know, of course she gonna stay. Keep quiet. So she gonna be set for life, like that's, da, da, da. but if I got uh -huh. my hey. Mommy, before I, I step my foot into marriage or even think about getting married, you are recording. I'm, I know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure I'm set, personally set. Not like, oh, when I get into marriage, I'm going to depend on my. No. Everything, mommy, mm -hmm. before I get into to a marriage, I'm going to make sure what a man can do for me. I can do it for myself times 10. Mm -hmm. So if it's ever a situation where we'll, I got to we'll teach you that. Yeah. Thank you. And if I ever have to, if there's ever a situation where I have to get up and leave, mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't have to worry about rent. I can go get me a place. Like, and be cool. It cool. Be cool for the rest of my life. Like, I'm not, I would never, ever, ever, ever. Mm, no. Mm -hmm. No. Never, ever, ever, ever go for that. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, no. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make sure I'm in the position to where if I have to leave someone, I'm going to be A-OK. -okay. I don't have to worry about nothing. My if And if we got kids, my kids are going to be straight. Is she lying crazy? 
<laughs> my kids gonna be straight. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not no. Yep. I cheat. I cheat you that though, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going for none of that. Miss mm -hmm. nope. <laughs> Be Beatrice said, "Nazma, just love your attitude on mm -hmm. life." Chef, it's obvious that you have raised a strong, young, beautiful lady. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Phyllis. Thank you so much. Um, yes, it's true. What? I raise a strong, beautiful women, but at the same Two. time. Two of them. Yeah. At the same time, I'm here too to guide them along the way. Mm -hmm. You know, it's good to be oh, strong. Goodness. It's good to have a strong will, but at the same time, minded. yeah. But at the same time, as a woman too, you have to have a little soft heart or soft part of you. You cannot be like strong, tough, tough, tough all the time. I'm just being honest here. Sometimes too much, too much toughness can lead you to a loneliness by yourself, maybe till the rest of your life. So some things that you cannot encourage or you cannot allow and you know they are wrong stand on them but some things you can learn to forgive because god said forgive and what else they have the same in christianity you know where you can forgive but don't forget you know sometimes people can make mistake once maybe twice the third strike you're done you know what I'm saying? So that's why maybe I'm trying to teach you guys here that yes, I, maybe me that talking here, you know me, my head is like coconut sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so strong, you know, but sometimes you have to have that soft part of you too, especially as a woman, mm -hmm. you know, when you love somebody, you really, 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 really love somebody. Sometimes they can hurt you so bad. Yeah, it definitely be the people that, that yes, like they can that hurt, hurt you, you so bad. But sometimes mm -hmm. you're gonna find it in your heart to forgive. You know that can go to your children, that can go to your husband, your wife, family members. Friend. You know, friends, not like friends. Friends, if we just friends, I have that. I mindset. can let go of friends. And, no, you know, yeah, I yeah. will never want to see you again. But family members, mm -hmm. especially maybe your husband, you share blood together. Your kids. No, I definitely accept you know? that. Like I, yeah. I definitely follow that. Mm -hmm. In like, like really close friendship, like long time friends, right? Not card. associates, mm -hmm. right? But like long time friends. Oh, no, she said, being independent, thanks to your mom. Not too many have your mindset. You are coming off strong and defensive um and defensive slow down enjoy life don't always keep your guards up you may block your blessings that's a very good one that's a very good thing and i always have this conversation with you right right asma mm -hmm. i always have that conversation with her that sometimes you can be too strong and you're gonna lose you're gonna miss a lot of blessings um, Michelle said forgiveness is necessary because it keeps you from um, bothering, harboring. harboring feelings about the situation. You won't forget. What you is won't that? forget though. You won't forget though. Okay. Yeah, sometimes you forgive people. That don't mean you forget what they did to you. My family used to say, keep a stick behind your door for the day your neighbor want to be crazy to give it on their head. Boom. You know. So that's the meaning. You can forgive, but don't forget, you know, because the people that hurt you, they can come back and hurt you the most, you know. So you always have that at the back of your mind that this person did something to me, but I forgive them, you know. Like I told my daughters is, is to love yourself before you love a man. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, love yourself first. You have to know. I think I spoke on this too all the time. Self-love. You have to love yourself first. You have to know your worth. But some of us women, we go through that for a very long time without knowing our self-worth, without knowing our own power that we have in us. So sometimes 
we suffer in relationships just because you feel like you are not worthy. Or if you go out there, you, you already have two, three kids, four kids. Who is going to take you? You know? So sometimes you go through that back and forth. It makes you stay in a bad relationship for very, 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 very long time. I mean, I can forgive, right? But I won't forget. I can forgive, but I'm still leaving if they cheat. Mm -hmm. I'm still leaving. I can, I can forgive. Definitely. I won't hold a grudge because you did what you did. And nobody can reverse time. Mm -hmm. And nobody can take anything back that they already did. Mm -hmm. It's permanent. It's permanent. It's, it's permanent. So, mm -hmm. I, I definitely can forgive. Like, forgiveness is, is good, like you said. Mm -hmm. And you always um, taught us that, to mm -hmm. forgive people. Mm -hmm. So, I can forgive, but I will never forget. Mm -hmm. And it's I, for me, I feel like... I won't forget. So whenever I see you, like I feel like that's just gonna be the thing, first thing that I, I think like on my mind. Mm -hmm. Like this man cheated on me. Like that's, I feel like it's gonna eat me up. But I I will definitely have to leave that situation to heal from the hurt and stuff like that. You know, especially if if we're together for a long time and we have kids and stuff. Like I'm definitely not saying that I'm not gonna be hurt because that's mm -hmm. you you basically like. Not saying wasted some of your life because like you you're get you gain from relation you always can gain from a relationship positively and negatively but okay hold on I mean Miss Sandra said I have I I got a question is it is it right is it right if a married man puts his arms around a single woman especially you and his wife. Is friends and her friend, her friend. Hey, God, she come interrupts me. Yes, can you read it? Where is it again? Uh huh. She said, um, um, you want to read it? Is it okay? Read it. Yeah. Is it right if a married man put his arms around a single woman? Sorry, especially, especially you and his wife are friends, and her friend was pulling away and felt un uncomfortable. She told him. She forgive him. Um, putting his arms around a single woman. Wait, I don't think that mean anything. Um, you can hug your your husband, your friend, husband. His wife. You can hug. You can shake hands. You can whatever. I don't think that's a big deal. Okay, so you're the friend, and the husband put his hands arm on. around you. Your friend. But you and the wife are friends. Um. It depends. It, if it was like this, like, that's like a, hey, yo, what's up, sis, or something. But if it was like any lower, then probably just tell him that you. It depends know. how the men put their hands around you, though. It depends. It's so many ways. So they have the un, unappropriate one, mm -hmm. inappropriate one, and they have the one you just say, okay, whatever. You know, so I don't think that's a big deal. It just depends. Right, right. June said, so proud of you, Chef Ruby, for advising your daughter. Thank as, you, Miss Sheila. As a mother, we want mm -hmm. the best for our daughters. I love this topic. Yeah, thank you, too. This topic is very important for the young kids that are coming up nowadays. You guys can advise your daughters, your, your nieces and nephews. They're saying I should start a podcast. Yeah, I told you that before. Get your business page. You go live. Before a person gets married, they should discuss your feelings and what you accept and want. Um, most definitely. I feel like... Most definitely. But sometimes you cannot discuss everything in, in dating. You know? No, they said and before you get married. Not that's what that I'm day. saying. Even before you get married, Nazma, it's not everything you're going to learn each other. The best love or the best uh, um, relationship is when you're dating. And sometimes when you're dating, you are so in love, you are lost. You cannot pay attention to almost everything. Mm, that's, that's not what they were saying. Okay, what they saying They were now? saying, like, you know how you mm -hmm. and someone is talking or something, mm -hmm. and before y'all y'all get married, or before y'all commit to each other, basically, mm -hmm. there there's, def there's definitely a point where y'all should lay some stuff down, like, oh yeah, this is... 
what I accept, this is what I don't accept. Definitely. Not not learning the person. You're definitely gonna learn the oh, person. Yeah, 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 definitely. But I accept you know? on that one. So Miss Delo said, forgiveness forgiveness is for you to receive your blessings. You will never forget what was done. What was done to you. However, the blessing is in the forgiveness. You just know how to deal with them from now on. Definitely. I believe in that. Um, Sheila said, if he was coming on, on, onto her, tell your friend he's being messy. I hate messy people. Some women, they will do those stuff to aggravate you. Some women will come in front of you. They will come, want to be churchy churchy on your husband. Wait, hey, what about the situation? Wait, what about situation? Let me just just say my one or two. <laughs> I'm still talking on that um thing. So some oh. women, yeah, some women, because Miss Sheila said if he was coming on to her, tell your friend he's being messy. Um, you know, so. Some men will do that because maybe they like your friend or they want to hit on her. Some women too does that. They will come to your house. They will be so touchy touchy on your man. Um, speak fake English. They speak the English that they don't never speak in their lives. Hey, <laughs> You see your friend start doing that you know if you're i hate that <laughs> if, like, you're, no, no, if your husband name um um what's which name should i use <laughs> uh, no, sorry, sir. <laughs> which name should i use hey if your husband named david you know like you call your husband david hi david what's up then your friend start coming as soon as she see her husband. Hey, David. Hey, they 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 gonna pronounce it like they 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 they. they. <laughs> you have to pay attention to that. I really hate that because uh -huh. oh my Hi, god. Hi, David. Mommy, there have been they start situations. talking in their throats. Mommy, let me tell you. You have to know something is going on. There have been situations, right? Hi, Bill. Hi, I... Bill. <laughs> Somebody told me to use Bill. So. <laughs> Let me tell you. Hold on, like you call your husband Bill. Bill. Then your friends start coming and start saying, Hi, Bill. Hey, hi, Bill. As soon as they see your husband, they get up. Even they were sitting, oh, they were sitting, they scatter their legs like this. You're talking. As soon as they see your husband, they get up. Hi, Bill. Say, get out. Open the door. <laughs> Mommy, I and you know what in my generation, you know what they we call those girls? No. Do we call them pick me girls? Pick me girls. Yes, that's pick them. Me. Come pick me. Come like pick they're so pick me. Come like pick me. come pick I'll pick you outside. Mommy. <laughs> nah. The, like we call them we call them pick me. It's like mm -hmm. they want attention so bad. Mm -hmm. Like Like if your if your boyfriend named Mohammed. Mohammed, Mohammed. Then your your friends start coming. Hi, Mohammed. Hi, Mohammed. I said, get out of my house. Go, Mohammed, yourself outside. <laughs> hey, Mohammed. I said, hey, what is wrong with you? Did you drink some hot water or what? What's in your throat? Get out. I'll show you with it, I'll show you with it. <laughs> What'd you say? I didn't say nothing. But let me tell you. I hate those situations. Miss Teresa says she she ain't get she she ain't going to get in my house and do that, eh? I'll walk you outside. <laughs> uh -huh. no, She's gonna let me say, Hi hey, Billy Boy. <laughs> myself i'm calling him billy let me tell you then you come down you're gonna say hi billy ball i'm gonna say what <laughs> let's go 
<laughs> Mommy, there's a situation where I was out with my friends, right? And my friend, she brought her boyfriend. Because it was her birthday. Um, mm -hmm. We went to the Trap House Museum. Like, you know T.I.? Like, mm -hmm. the museum. Mm -hmm. We went there. Mm -hmm. And then we were with this other girl. Like, it was a group of us. Mm -hmm. Mommy. Mm -hmm. The girl, when the boyfriend had pulled up, mm -hmm. me and my our friend, we weren't paying him no mind. Like, because that, that's our friend boyfriend. Because like, you guys are innocent. What do we have to do with him? Like, that's, <coughs> that's my friend boyfriend. Mm-hmm. But the other girl, mommy, mm -hmm. before he came, she was just being herself. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Then when he came, when he came, she got quiet, and then she started like walking weird, like mm -hmm. you know, like just trying to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But like she would go brush past yeah, him. Yeah, it would get up there. Mommy, so, let me tell you, she I, would. I want to show she you what it is. No, <laughs> she would walk past him and go like. Like, br like you know, just to touch yeah, him any like, way she like, can. Like that. You know, like, and then it would be like a situation where we're all just standing, like, mm -hmm. taking pictures. She'll walk in, keep walking back, like, mm -hmm. sometimes. You weren't doing all this before sometimes, everybody came. Sometimes they do like that. Yeah, she was doing that too, like, being extra. Like, first of all, that's that's so embarrassing. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Mommy, I'm telling you, like, I got sick of hearing embarrassment. And me and her, mm -hmm. me and my friend were just looking at her, like, nice. what are you doing? Like, you should have tell her get out, you're not getting in this car. If you guys give her a ride, you'll leave her in that park. Well, we took a lift to a restaurant. So. Well, the, the next lift is gonna come for her. She's not going in that lift. Mommy. Mm. Miss Teresa said she might get hurt. Trust me. Sometimes no, I just want to punch your your head and your big head. If and my say, friend, get out of here. If my husband ever told me that my friend did something like I no, would, I would, I would, no, no I your would husband not gonna tell you. No, mommy, listen. I Sometimes your husband mommy. is innocent. Mommy. They don't even know. You the wife, you mommy, have to I pay know, attention. but if my no, some mm -hmm. girls make it obvious. Some girls make it oh, very they make obvious. It obvious. So I will hope to God. Stand like this. I will hope they to God. But they don't even have butts okay. like me. I will, I will hope to God that my husband will be, <laughs> you know, come to me and say, "Hey, like check your friend." She mm -mm -mm. and I'm gonna check that. Like don't I'm gonna talk to her like girl. Da, da, da. And she's trying to give up. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm gonna teach her a lesson. Mm -hmm. Hey Billy Bob, you can't come. You can't come. She can't come around no more. Hey Billy Bob, we can hang out outside the house, but you, you can't leave my house without Billy Bob. I mean that that be the mistake. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't even like my friends coming to my house as it is. But if I have my husband, no, you're not coming to my house. No, that don't mean you're gonna stop your friend. Your real friends, well, your real friends. My, not my real friends for sure. Yeah, they don't wanna look your man like that. But the ones that want what you got. Hey God. Yeah, that's gonna, what I mean. Like, they're gonna talk the envy, the envious friends. Yeah, <laughs> they say give her two pieces of a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Give her two pieces and a biscuit. <laughs> I'm gonna cook for her so fast. Okay. I'm gonna cook for her so fast. She's gonna leave my house. <laughs> you have to put stuff like that in check right, right there. there. Thank real. you. Yes. Yeah. You have to do that. You're gonna say why you talk like that, girl? What is wrong with you? <laughs> you was not talking like that earlier. Now you just see my man enter the house. You turn to to a breaches woman right away. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I said no. Get out of my house now, right? Mommy, now. Bro, I feel like mommy, you gonna get first some potato, shrimp, and eggs. When you know, when you know she's like that, you don't have her around you and your husband. Exactly. That's the problem, though. What about if it's a family member? <laughs> what about if it's a, what about if it's a family member? What you gonna do about it? You don't want to mess up the family. You don't want to cause trouble. You don't want to think. You don't want people to think you are crazy or you have a mental problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, this is getting talk. Mister Isa say I am. She says still applies. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> no, for real. You can't put nothing. This is why I be saying I don't put nothing past nobody. Okay. <laughs> Hey, no, for real. This conversation is sweet, though. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, it's so sweet. Mommy, anybody would kid do anything to you. That's why I don't put nothing back. Oh, man. You would think, oh, this what? will never happen to me. Or they'll never do that. <laughs> Mommy, don't be them people that will do it. I swear to God. <laughs> Look what Miss Ellen is saying. Miss Ellen said, Billy Boy is a country name. There are some good countrymen. <laughs> That's why I'm going to marry to a countryman. No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm going to marry to a nice countryman. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
I would like to live on a farm though. Yeah. Miss June says same way, even family. She won't be around me and my husband. Hmm. Tell me about that. You tell him about you tell him about him. Or herself. Or herself. With the quickness. With the quickness. Mm -hmm. You guys are smart in this country. <laughs> <laughs> Africa people. Africa people they will be like, mm, why? Why they do that? Why? They, they want to be talking to themselves. They would never voice voice it up. They're going to tell their other friend. They're going to tell their kids. Uh, you, you know, say this thing so uncomfortable. You see Miss that one Sheila. did that one. You see? But they would never confront her. Miss Sheila said, mm -hmm. um, yeah, family members think that think it's okay and that they can't get their butt with. Like, <laughs> facts, though. That's facts. Uh. Mm -hmm. Any situation... Family members, they be pushing it for real because they think they family and you just going to let it slide. No, no. Especially my aunties, like some of them, I'm going to call them out. Like I'm not going to say their names, but so they'll be. Why well, my sisters do this to No, I didn't even say your your sister. <laughs> like y'all know how y'all, y'all, y'all mom got friends, but you call them auntie like. Well, even those were what, what they did to you. They always gotta comment something about me, like about my weight or whatever, whatever. Like, girl, keep keep it. You know, I'm. I'm <laughs> I, it's getting to. I'm getting to end this life. No, I'm getting to. I know. I'm getting to. No, I'm getting to an age where I can start saying something back to y'all. Cause no, cause y'all 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 be y'all be me too, and y'all can't say nothing to me. <laughs> Y'all be thinking that y'all y'all can say something to me, but y'all can't. Let right? me end this life. No, no, no. That's my end of life. June said, "I'm Jamaican. We don't play when push comes to shove." I'm oh, the, this you know, was you know, a you know, you know, you know, No, let's end this. Can, I don't want this to go left. You um, got something else. Miss Teresa said, "I don't care. You don't cry." Oop. You don't cross certain lines. I don't care whom it is. Exactly. <coughs> you know what? That's true, mommy. No, I'll come later. No, <laughs> no I don't want this true. girl to take this that's conversation true. left. I don't want this thing to go left. Let it stay like right, right here. It, Bye, guys. Okay, it's See right here. Can you end the life, please? Miss Vicky says. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Vicky, I don't want all my friends Lena, to come to this. She's speaking truth. Exactly. No, that's enough. Let, good night. I, I said, I, I, no, I, I, if the shoe fits, I don't want my it. friends to come for me. Good night. No. If the shoe fits, 